Um, welcome to my 40 days of intermittent fasting and today I'm going to talk to you about week two hmm. okay all I can say about week two is okay okay let me not jump ahead of myself so week two I decided to control myself a bit more now and um, the aim for week two is because week one I got used to the eating time windows of 6 to 10 p.m so I'd fast from 10 p.m. the previous night to 6 p.m. the next day. So that was my fasting period, 20 hours. And then my four hour eating window, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So last week one, I got used to that, which was fun. It was simple, listen, because I had all my carbs. Week two now, I decided to sort of not cut my carbs completely out, but just be more conscious of what I'm eating. So I was eating, say for example, I've got rice in my in my plate. So instead of having like half of my plate of rice or whatever it is, it will be a quarter. So I just cut down my carbs slightly. And those are my portion sizes. So I reduce my portion sizes and cut down my carbs a bit. Not completely low carb and not keto, nothing like that. Just reducing my portion sizes and um, be more conscious of what I'm eating. So I cut out my snacks now, week two. There's no snacking on crisps or sweets like that. So if I wanted something sweet in my mouth, um, I would, um, gym obviously in my eating window, I would maybe have maybe a piece of gum or something like that, or have some fruit, you know, that sort of thing. But obviously the gum sometimes it makes you a bit more hungry because obviously you're chewing and then it tells your brain, okay, more food's coming and then your belly starts getting emptied. So I thought, you know what? gum only if i really really want it so i just go for fruit i thought fruit was the best thing because um it gave you that sweetness which i would crave sometimes i think i'm more of a sweet eater than a savory person but then again like if i have savory i need to balance it out with sweet so it depends but i think i'm a bit more on the sweet side so yes week two it was definitely cutting down my portion sizes and reducing my carbs not low carb but just reducing the amount of carbs I was eating and, and cutting out snacks. So there's only one thing though with week two is that being a woman, yeah, so I had a visitor that week and um, yeah, so the results were pretty crap. Obviously it's expected, so I didn't lose that much weight but it was still a loss anything that is less than what you were before is still a loss and still you know congratulate yourself that you didn't actually put on weight because usually some people actually put on weight when they're on the time of the month or whatever but i didn't but i still lost something obviously i was kind of disappointed but it's still something again week two i didn't do no form of exercise at all just walk in again like week one around my neighborhood at work simple going to the shops that was it and yeah i lost about point was it point three or point two of kilogram so like i think like 0 0.7 pounds so less than one pound again it was still a loss but it was like damn like only <laughs> less than one pound come on but you know it is what it is week two you know you can't fight yourself it's nature mother nature in it so yeah what can i say i'll let you guys know um what happened on week three if you want to know what i'm drinking i might have showed you again anyway in the beginning of the shot this is twinings focus no it's not a sponsorship or anything but i just love my herbal teas so for any herbal drinkers out there um 
get yourself some herbal teas it helps again like i said my intermittent fasting it's not like the regular people where they just drink some water and that's it for the day or fizzy water whatever they drink i alter mine a little bit and it works for me it's been working for me for a little while now i take my water i take my herbal teas um if i need to i can take black tea or even black coffee um if i want i can sweeten it with some stevia drops but sometimes i'm not really a fan of it depends on how i'm feeling but i mainly try to stick to my herbal teas and my waters hot drinks for me work well because i feel like it satisfies me better than cold drinks so I'm more of a hot drink hot tea drinker than a cold drinker i only really take cold stuff really well during this fast if i'm really really thirsty or i've eaten something where i need something cold real quick but yes yeah, so that was my week two so less than a pound weight loss um guys do you know what a loss is a loss isn't it don't beat yourself up if you are like me and you know and you lost a little bit just remind yourself do you know what week one was good week one you lost 10 pounds so a loss is a loss so keep on the good things god bless you and stay tuned for week three